So the question is very important and there's difference of opinion on that. Does Iman fluctuate or does it stay in the same way? So you must have obviously read about it. Iman is the name of belief in certain creedal points. And, uh, Imam Abu Hanifa, rahmatullah, view or Hanafi view is, and some of the, you know, Fuqaha's view is, that Iman is static. Because Iman is knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our creator. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is our prophet. And all the other articles of faith and the detail of all of that. What they say, that how could if the Iman grows, what does that mean? Does it mean that you then start believing in Allah more or less when you're weak? If that's the case, that, for example, there was 20 things that you need to believe in for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then are we saying that it would become 21 or 22 or 25? Or when it's weak, you are actually believing in only about 7 points or 10 points or 15 points. What, what does weakness mean? So they say it is not that the actual, the essence of Iman goes up and down. Rather, Iman is fixed. What goes up and down are the, as you say, paraphernalia of Iman. The things which are around Iman. For example, if you do good action, which are the dictates of Iman, if you stay away from the prohibitions from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then your Iman would get stronger. So Iman doesn't grow, Iman does get stronger with firmness in whatever you believe in because you are now practicing it with sincerity. And the other side, the Muhaddithun and the other Imam, they would say Iman grows up and down with the good action and with bad action it goes down and to be honest they mean the same thing when you go it's actually they say nuanced or you can use the semantics as opposed to a true difference between the, these two groups so iman if you mean as the belief system where you are believing in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all the articles that remains the same like they, whatever number could be hundred numbers whatever so imagine a number that are the what is iman iman is like how would you describe iman to believe in what to believe in so many things so if you believe in so many things how could you believe in so many things one day and the next day you're feeling a bit low and you're actually believing in 99 thing or 98 it, it can't work like that so technically the essence doesn't get changed so whatever you need to believe in doesn't get changed. What changes it is the conviction of action. So the, the, the zeal to act. What goes away is your, your laziness, your desire and drive to continue to do good action. And that increases and that decreases with mood, with, you know, with the situation that we are in. Obviously, performing Umrah and Hajj, Ramadan, our Iman goes way up. We feel like doing everything. And then we're down in dumps with some incident, with some, you know, problem at work, some issues with the wife, you know, got a problem, medical problem. So my son got unwell, so I'm a bit upset with that. Like, you know, whatever. So I don't feel like doing that much. Sometimes I feel like doing it. So we do get up and down, but does that, it weakens our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but does it reduce my level of faith in Allah? So the others and the both sides, actually, they both say the same thing in different ways. So it is not a true distinction in any way. They don't say that the, the number of things that you have to believe in increases or decreases. They say that remains the same. What increases and decreases is that bond 
the conviction of the action, not conviction of the belief. For example, anyone who stopped praying, Billah, a Muslim who believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but today feels low and not doing his prayer today, you ask him, do you believe in one Allah and two Allah? He said, oh, they're two gods to me. Not at all. He would still say the same thing. If his Iman is there, either he rejects, because rejecting one essential part of Iman, meaning coming out of his Iman. You can't be Muslim if out of say, if there were 100 things to believe in. You can't have 99 and still consider it. Like for example, Qadianis, how many points they do? They do believe in almost everything other than few things. They only reject the coming of Isa Islam. They only reject that there could be any potential Nabi after Rasulullah Sallam. They believe in Allah, they believe in a Hajj, Fard, or whatever prayers. All the belief system they accept by and few. And based on that, they're declared kafir. Because you have to take it all. So what Imam Hanifa's view is that Iman is an entity which has certain aspect to it. You have to believe in all or none. Unless you're talking about so the, the term they use it Mukammilat Iman, Tahsiniyat Iman, or uh, you know Tazeeniyat Iman, the beautification of Iman the embellishments of Iman, the strengthening of Iman, but not the degree of Iman. Iman has just one degree. You believe in and you, or, or you don't believe in. So, but as I said, others do not even say it. They don't say that the Iman has got... It says, but when you have practice, then your Iman becomes higher, stronger, bigger, and it goes down. So as I said, it's just semantic. In true sense, they're both saying the same thing, that the core doesn't change, the beautification does, up and down. I hope that clarifies. So which is the strongest opinion? Obviously, being Hanafi, we follow the opinion that Iman doesn't go up and down. Iman's, you know, uh, what you call the, uh, the, the things which are around Iman, the surroundings of Iman, the bits which are connected to Iman, like what are the dictates of Iman, the things that are the objective of Iman, because with Iman you want to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That goes up and down. Zeal or dedication or you know, eagerness to do it or not, that goes up and down. Not the Iman per se, because Iman, as I said, is the entity you either believe in or not. I hope that clarifies.